The Cape Town Civic Center was painted in blue. The party's top leadership, including some of its supporters, attended the launch. It says candidates for the elections have been chosen based on merit in all metros, municipalities and wards. Well, we don't measure things by race, we measure things on merit, but I think if you have a look at our, at our metro mayoral candidates, four of the five candidates are South Africans who would be uh, deemed as black South Africans by uh, the population register. Um, we uh, have a diversity of candidates across the board. We are the most diverse party in South Africa, that is without dispute. If you have a look at our opponents on both the left and the right of us, they're monochromatic. The DA is bringing all South Africans together the party says it's going to the election upbeat and dismisses claims that the challenges its leadership face shows a regression from previous election. Yes, people have left the Democratic Alliance, but I think it would be unfair to say that on the basis of those individuals that have left, that the DA is somehow regressing um, in, 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 in its commitment to building a non-racial South Africa. I, I do think that is an unfair assessment. The party says the city of Cape Town charges lower rates for water compared to other metros and that it is also addressing the high increase in homeless people. My commitment is how can we do, take those safe spaces that we have, grow their capacity significantly, expand their capacity significantly uh, and get people off the street over time. But we start from the premise that it is not a dignified solution to simply have people sleeping on the street for a long period of time. That is not right for them. It says its targets include taking control of more metros with outright majority. Lula Mamakia, SABC News, Cape Town.